Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to look at how you can use the process pool executor within Python. Now the full text version of this tutorial can be found on my website TutorialEdge.net and I'll leave a link to this tutorial in the description below. So before we go into how you can actually use the process pool executor, it's important to know when and where to use multiple threads versus multiple processes as misuse of either threads or processes could lead to your systems actually seeing performance degradation when you add them into your programs. So there are typically two types of performance bottleneck for most programs. This is either an I.O. bottleneck or a CPU based bottleneck. If your program spends more time waiting in file reads or network requests or any type of I.O. task, then it is an I.O. based bottleneck and you should be looking at using threads to speed it up. However, if your program spends more time in CPU based tasks over large data sets, then it is typically a CPU based bottleneck. And in this scenario, you may be better off using multiple processes in order to speed up your program. I say may here as it's possible that a single threaded Python application may be faster for CPU based problems, but it depends on certain things such as the size of the data set and the speed of your processor. So let's dive into some code. So the first thing we're going to want to do is import from concurrent.futures import process pool executor. And secondly, we want to import the OS module. And the reason for this will be clear in a second. Next, we're going to want to define our task function, which is going to be the task that we submit to our process pool for execution. So def task and within this we're going to simply want to print executing our task on process and we're going to want to format a string with os.getPid so that we can certify that each of our tasks is running on a different process to that of our main Python program. Next we're going to want to define our main function so def main, and within this we want to define our executor. So executor equals process pool executor, and max workers equals three. So this means that there are three processes in this pool waiting for tasks to be submitted to it. And finally we want to define some tasks and throw these into our pool. So task one equals executor dot submit, and we're going to pass in the same task function that we defined up here. And just for clarity, we're going to submit two tasks. Finally, we want to call our main method. So when we try and run this, Python 3.6 test.py, you should see that both of our tasks are successfully picked up by our process pool executor, and they're both successfully run on two different processes that feature two distinct process IDs or two, two distinct PIDs. Now, this just shows you a very basic way of using the process pool executor, but we can actually tidy this code up and use our process pool executor as a context manager. So with process pool executor, max workers equals three as executor, run everything within the context manager here. So as you can see, this is the old method, this is the new method. This method also deals with the tidying up of a process built executor once our program's finished. And you could argue that it's a cleaner, more succinct way of working with executors in Python. So I typically recommend you doing it this way as opposed to the old way. And if we try and run this again, you should see that it has exactly the same results as before. So this was just a very quick and easy introduction into the world of process pool executors in Python. And I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you did, then please leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more Python based tutorials.